Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. This time I'm doing a review on this figure right here, Jean Aristotle, which comes with that stand that I think is supposed to clip with another figure, but I haven't seen none of that yet. I think this is gonna be like uh, the uh, Kylo Ren and um, and Ray, which you had two stands like this that clip in together, but um. Yeah, I got this figure from Amazon, and I really like this figure. I like the I like the way she looks, very uh, rebel like with the uh, cap on, and that little stand right there makes this, this figure look a lot better. Um, here's a look at the packaging, which same standard Black Series packaging, which I never I was never really into, but uh, there's um, the uh, uh, bio of the figure in different languages and then does doesn't have a number because it's uh, exclusive and there's a photoshop picture of Jen Erso well, that's the only thing that I kind of like in you know, the little effect kind of like not really but it's all right now the figure itself it's very very cool yeah, I really like it um, and the stand here, as you can see, it's got nice paint applications. Mm. Well, over here it has nice paint applications. Here it's like mostly one color, but you can kind of see that it's, you know, rocks and it's got the two little pegs here for the, uh, for the holes at the bottom of her uh, boots. But yeah, on uh, the figure itself, it comes with a blaster right in there, as you can see. It also comes with other, that other blaster right there. The uh, cap is removable. Nicely paint and detailed. And it also comes with this. I don't know what it, what this is. I guess it's a lightsaber. I don't know. But it clips in right there. You know. And then it's got that breathing apparatus that you can, I guess, hold it, uh, you know, like, put it like that, I guess, like that, and then put her cap on or whatever. I mean, I always have it down, so it doesn't really matter. I guess, however you want to display it. And it's got the her uh, poncho with a nice paint details over here. Kind of like wish it was cloth so she can put the hood up, you know, but I guess it's okay. And for the articulation, the head is in a ball joint. Uh, shoulders are hinged, uh, hinged elbows. I do believe there's an articulation inside of here, but I, you know, I can't really see it because all these right here, all the punch is one piece, so I, I can't really see. But I do believe there's um there's some type of articulation inside of here, you know, in his thumb and her torso part. Hinge uh hips, double jointed knees, and it's got the rocker part on the uh, the rocker joint on the uh ankles, pivot point on the ankles, and it's got like a subtle movement uh, on the boot. So yeah. Nicely, nicely articulated. Uh for display purposes, I think this figure is really, really cool, especially if you want to pose her like right under, or I mean, not under, but right behind uh, the stones, looking really nice. And I guess you can make a diorama with this figure and some broken walls or whatever, and it will look really nice. There's Shira Emwe, just uh make the scene look a little bit better, more interesting or whatever. Um, I don't know. Something like this. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, 
Jin Erso uh, with the, the exclusive. Uh, this is from the Kmart exclusive. I got also I got these two figures, like I said, from uh, Amazon. Like I said in my video before, both of these was a compliment from each other, uh, price wise, because uh, I underpay for this figure, but I overpay for base Malthus. But a really awesome figure. Uh, like I said, the, it got the two pet holes right there, but. I rather pose her like this. I don't know. She looks a lot better like that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.